Hi everyone, I cannot believe I'm making another fucking video about the fucking drains, but there's something that I just uh, looked up and I want to show you this right now, so yeah, so this is the thing that I said in my last video, I said in my last video that um, when the downstairs when the upstairs when they use the toilet upstairs or the shower upstairs it causes the water pressure in my pipes to come back on themselves to kind of repeat on themselves and um this is basically what came up when i looked it up online um it says here if upstairs water pressure is causing downstairs water pressure to come back on itself, it's likely due to a plumbing issue where there is a partial blockage or restriction in the pipes upstairs that is causing the water flow to be diverted back downwards, creating a backflow effect, particularly when multiple fixtures are used simultaneously on different floors. Oh my God. So, okay, so... It's not just my own pipes that are clogged. Um, it's also most likely upstairs um, pipes that are clogged as well, which explains why when I asked the plumber, um, you know, when I assumed that my plumbing was also causing upstairs issues, he got kind of defensive and he said, well, you know, did, did anyone say the whole building? Did anyone say that? I'm thinking that's a weird response and he wasn't aggressive but it, I just thought it was a very weird response at the time but at the time I, I didn't say anything now I know why complete the picture you've got pr plumbing problems upstairs potential block a potential blockage upstairs that needs to be sorted out and the plumber suggests that I'm told of the situation the upstairs people know that I've been trying to fix the situation myself. They turn around to the, to the plumber and say, don't tell her anything. So they lead me to kind of believe that the whole thing is my fault. But even if it was, why the fuck would you not say anything? This problem could have been solved so much more quickly. Or you, you wouldn't have even had to speak to me. All you had to do was tell the plumber um you know downstairs have been having issues too it could have been solved a lot faster aquatech could have been here a lot sooner things could have been sorted out but no we're in this situation i can't take a shit in my own flat i can't piss in my own toilet i can use i can use the the, the sink to wash myself but i can't piss or shit in my own toilet i cannot be in my own shower because what what has recently been in my toilet is repeating back in the shower because of upstairs. And then on top of that, the smell from the drains is reaching the void downstairs. The water, the debris, everything is reaching downstairs, including the smell. So not only am I getting issues in my own flat, but downstairs are also getting issues when it comes to their storage as well, which affects everything to do with the people running the shop because the people running the restaurant there's one person in there who i think either owns the restaurant or is running it and that person also does cab work it's literally affecting everything not just for me but for everybody else adjacent to this property well not everybody else but like this is affecting not just me but it's also affecting other people's property and plus the drain smell, people were complaining before when the plumber came over and the plumber was able, you know, even though the plumber worked really, really hard to try to solve the problem, there was only so much to th that he could actually do. And even then people were complaining about the smell of the drains. Imagine how much worse the smell is going to get when Aquatech get here or if Aquatech get here. And all because... A problem that could have been easily solved weeks ago wasn't solved 
because there was the need to try to make me look bad. This is the reason why upstairs didn't want to, didn't want the plumber to say anything to me. They didn't want the plumber to say anything to me, not because they were scared. Not because they were scared, that had nothing to do with it. I wouldn't have given two shits if they were to blame or not. Because the last time it was put to me that they might be to blame for the blockage, I would have been like, okay, well, you know. I can do what I can do on this end, but you've got to make sure that they do their part on that end. And that would have been it. No trying to make them look bad. No trying to make them look like the villains. Nothing. I wouldn't have given two fucks if they'd have just relayed the message to the plumber and it would have been sorted a lot sooner. But no, we're too scared. Of what? What the fuck am I going to do about a blocked pipe? You've blocked the pipe before. Did I come up there and, and, and fucking rock your shit? I didn't even do that when you flooded my bedroom. The same bedroom you keep going on about. The same bedroom you've gone on about for three fucking years. So that your little crotch spawn can get some sleep. You've gone on about that fucking bedroom for three fucking years. You don't pay rent in this flat. You've gone on about that bedroom for three fucking years. I didn't even, I, I didn't even fucking clock you. I, I didn't even fucking clock you when you flooded my fucking bedroom with your reckless fucking behaviour. I didn't even do that then. When you flooded the place. So why would, why would I go off on you over a blocked pipe, a, a pipe that you've blocked numerous times? Why would I, why would I go off on you for that? And even then, even though you blocked the pipe, allegedly, because we don't know everything yet, even though you blocked the pipe, like my guy, it's not your fucking fault that the piping is bad. The pipes are bad here. The, the, the piping design in this flat is fucking terrible. That's not your fault. That's not your fault. So why the fuck, if I, if I didn't even blame you or go, or go off on you over my fucking bedroom being flooded, the same bedroom you went on about for three fucking years, why the fuck would I go off on you about blocked pipes for God's sake? Blocked pipes, the piping system is fucking terrible. You didn't create that piping system. Why would I go off on you about that? No, the only reason why you were scared to say anything to me was because you knew I would have ammunition for another clap back if you came back with another stupid taunt or another stupid, uh, some more stupid goading that you were prepared to do. That is the only reason. And on top of that, you wanted to get revenge for those videos. Tell the fucking truth. You wanted to get revenge for those fucking videos so you didn't tell anybody anything about what was going on. You didn't relay anything to me because you wanted to get revenge on me. Again, you're fucking dangerous. I might not be afraid of you. Truth be told, I'm not afraid of cowards. But you are scary fucking people. Really, really scary fucking people. And your decision making, your decision making skills are fucking trash. And as for me. I'm never about to get going to get online and blame myself for, for shit ever again. Because if I'm going to be getting the fucking brunt of blocking and shit from upstairs, if I'm getting the worst of it, if I'm the one getting the worst of it, then hey, hell no, I ain't about to blame myself for shit. I don't cause fucking blockages like that. I don't, I don't do shit like that, especially not on a regular and again, of course, partial blockages, I get that. But like, no, it's just, it's just the lack of responsibility. It's the spite. It's the immaturity. It's ridiculous at this point. And now I've got to go because I've got to take a shit somewhere that isn't my fucking flat. Because of spiteful, irresponsible people who don't give a fuck about anybody but themselves. And they've demonstrated that time and time again.
fuck me. These people don't deserve sleep. Fucking scumbags. Like, what? <sighs> All of this just to get to me. Let's keep that. Let's keep it a buck. All of this just to, just to see the look on my face. Take a good look. How does that taste? 